אבי בנימין שלום. שלום. And welcome to Culture Buzz. אבי, you are a concert pianist. You have been Gesher's Theater home composer for the last 20 years, and now you are embarking on a new and exciting path, and we are about to hear you live, performing live soundtracks for movies that don't yet exist. That's right. Avi, uh, you are originally from Tallinn? Yes, I was born in Tallinn, and I lived there, and I learned there. Then I moved to Moscow, I worked there for like two years, and then it was a very hot time for me for rock music, and uh, in one uh, Estonian Tallinn rock band that I formed a few years ago. From that period we went to Amsterdam, and we had gigs all over Europe, I think, one and a half year. Life is rock and roll, it was total. So basically your music is everything, from yeah. classical to uh, rock. Absolutely right, yeah. Uh, I think that, you know, Beatles and uh, Schubert are equal. Or the energy that gives Beethoven is equal to energy that we can hear For instance, from Jimi Hendrix or Led Zeppelin. Wow. Yeah, it's energy. Music is kind of energy. It's just another language, but you can say I love you in any language and speak about the same things. And after 20 years of composing your original scores for the theater, a wonderful theater, the Gesher Theater, you have decided to come out with this new exciting show. What can you tell us about it? Uh, first of all, I think it's uh, better to see it and to listen than to, to hear some words about it. But uh, <clears throat> first of all, what I needed is uh, a stage. I think that uh, the, that period of uh, the 80s, when I played a lot on a stage, classical music and as a pianist and also as a member of a rock band and so on and so on. It was so important for me and it was, I think, it was already in my blood inside. So the 20 years that I, uh, the 20 years that I learned, that I, so after that, the 20 years that uh, I worked as a composer, which means actually, Theater, which means actually that uh, I was on the backstage, not on the front stage, on the front, as a pianist, but on the backstage. Yeah, I prepared with others on the backstage everything that people <laughs> will see something on a stage. And you miss this, you miss being on I stage. I miss a lot. And then. So I it's a comeback? It's a comeback, some, some kind of comeback, but it's very interesting what they're saying because I thought. What kind of comeback it can be? Because I felt that I need to be on a stage, but to be as a classical pianist, you know, it's uh, the new generation. They are geniuses. They play. Uh, it's impossible to to, you know, to, to, to be to, close to, to compete. Them, to compete, impossible. I think that great. So you look for something original. Original, yeah. To be a rock musician on a stage is also, you know, I'm looking not like a <laughs> regular rock star, let's say. And uh, what I did, I brought to the front myself with all my friends who are on the backstage. Uh, translators, uh, the people who are doing uh, dubbing, posting actors. I show them on a screen, so in my performance there is like, you know, there is a screen where you can see all the time. The it's a multimedia it's performance. It's a multimedia performance, yeah, and then all the time the contact with uh, people on, on, on the screen. Okay, and including me, yourself. Including myself. From what, yeah. I read, from what I read in a wonderful review in Haaretz. 
<laughs> yes, it's, it's, it was it's more like a so it's, joke. It's a bit uh, schizophrenic. Yeah, but for me it's like a joke because I wanted to show the person who is very seriously taking all the things and very serious person. Because I'm not so serious a person, I think that humor is the main thing. Okay, so we have a lot to look forward to tonight. Yeah. I wanted to ask you, Avi, uh, since your musical road is really a very rich one, a very diverse one, if you had to choose the major influences on your music, what would they be? Mm, it's not so easy to tell because it's, you're told that it's so uh, <laughs> with different names. Let's say that I'm graduated as a classical musician. That, that's why the people from the classical music, from the culture, uh, first names like Bach, Beethoven, and then Beatles, Led Zeppelin. From the contemporary music, uh, I think I'm most influenced by Alfred Schnittke. Ah, he's a great Russian okay. the modern composer. composer. The modern composer. Right. Yeah. Actually, he wrote also a lot of music for films. Hey. Wrote, yeah, a lot of soundtracks. Right. That's why his language is also close to me. Okay. Okay, so these are the influences when it comes to musicians. But when it comes to climates and countries and landscapes, where, will, where can we find uh, Tallinn? Where can we find Tel Aviv in your music? Maybe Amsterdam? Uh, everything is there. Everything is there. Everything is uh, sure. Everything. And my Jewish say Yiddish roots are also because uh, all my childhood till 13 you know, uh, then I spoke we spoke at home with father an Estonian language actually Estonian is my native language okay. with mother I spoke with uh, Russian language and uh, Bobe grandmother Very spoke mother. only Yiddish, Yiddish? yes <laughs> yeah about it <laughs> So uh, all those, all this was mixed, and it came in a, maybe in a strange way out because what I, uh, one of the soundtracks what I'm doing, I'm putting together the Mozart's piano concerto number 23 together with cantorial singing. Wow! Yeah, which gives uh, some <laughs> something very strange. Sounds really intriguing. So basically, when we are discussing the music by Avi Benjamin, we can use the term fusion, maybe even confusion. Uh, maybe, but those are labels, you know, to... There is one word which I don't like and people don't like, but actually I think this is uh, the real wor word, it's a postmodern, because our society is postmodern society, and uh, the music what I'm doing, and it's actually not music, it's Uh, multimedia, it's uh, a lot of things, it's very typical to post-modern culture, which is very typical for post-modern society. Okay, wonderful. So what are your plans now that you have this uh, wonderful uh, work, you took it on stage, what do you plan ahead? First of all, what is very important for me is uh, to find my audience. I think it's people are asking if it is for for whole family or for, for, for all generation or for modern I say I don't know because it it may be interesting that everyone who wants to listen you know there are two kind of of people uh, first uh, they are sitting like this so what we will see now what's coming from the stage and the others are like this ah what's going on there So, uh, I think that uh, it's the most important for me to find, to wow. find my audience. Okay, and I know that you have performed it in Japan? No, not in Japan. I Because I've seen something on uh, YouTube. Yes, uh, you Tokyo. will see, it's also some kind of... Uh, <laughs> of uh, I don't know what to say. 
you will see, you will understand why there is Japan inside. But I played the soundtrack for bit, bit, uh, <coughs> based on uh, the music of Beethoven. It's called Deafness, what actually Beethoven suffered from. Uh, her, uh, I played it in Vienna. In Vienna? In Vienna. Yes, okay, so, so uh, two years ago. So this was the premiere? No, the premiere no. is now. Hey. It will be in uh, half an hour. Lucky uh, us! Yeah. Avi, I would like to thank you very much. Thank to wish you. you a wonderful success tonight and beyond. And maybe the best wish that I can think of, Avi, after listening to you, that you will indeed be able to find the audience, the right audience, in Israel and all over the world. Thank you. Toda rabba, good luck. Toda rabba.